Hello and welcome to the notation tutorial for Band in the Box. In this tutorial, you will learn how to enter and edit notation. The notation features in Band in the Box are very similar to those in PowerTrax Pro Audio, so most of what you learn in this tutorial will also apply to PowerTrax. The first thing we need to do is actually view the notation screen. You can do this in a few ways. This button toggles between the chord chart and notation. You can do the same thing by selecting Window, Notation, or Chords window, or by pressing Ctrl-W. Now that we are in Notation, we will explore the three Notation modes. You can toggle between the three modes by pressing this N button. We are currently in Standard Notation mode, which is only used for viewing the notation. You cannot enter notation in this mode. Let's press the end button once to enter editable notation mode. You will notice that dotted vertical lines have appeared. These lines are also in the third mode, which is called note roll mode. These dotted lines mean that you can actually enter notes. We will now toggle back to the editable notation mode and learn how to actually enter notes. You will notice that the dotted lines are grouped together in bundles of four. The first dotted line in each group represents the beat, or quarter note. To enter a note on that beat, simply click where the desired note on the staff intersects the dotted line. Let's enter a C above middle C on the first beat of the first bar. Move your mouse to C of middle C, and then move it across to the correct dotted line, and click once with your mouse. We have now entered a note that is seven beats long, a whole note tied to a dotted half note. This note is likely too long for our purposes, and there are two ways to shorten a note. The first way to shorten it is to add another note further along. Let's add another C at the second beat. The first note has been shortened accordingly to a quarter note, and now the second note is the long note. You can continue like this for an entire song, and the previous note will always be shortened to the correct length. However, you may want to shorten a note without adding another note. In this case, you simply add a rest we will enter a rest on the third beat of the first measure, thereby shortening the second note to a quarter note. Simply put a check mark beside rest and click anywhere in the treble clef on the third beat. I will now show you how to enter notes that are shorter than quarter notes. As you can see, each beat is divided into four dotted lines. These dotted lines represent sixteenth notes. To enter sixteenth notes, simply click on the dotted lines within the group. We will enter four sixteenth notes at the beginning of bar two, and we will then enter a rest on the second beat. We will now learn what to do if you make a mistake while entering notation. The easiest thing to do is to simply remove the offending note and try again. To delete a note, simply hold the delete key on your keyboard down and click on the note. I'll enter a note in bar three, now I'll press the delete key on my keyboard and click on the note once more. As you can see, it disappears. Another thing you can do if you enter an incorrect note is to change the note, and there are a few ways that you can do that as well. I'll enter a G on the second beat of bar three. But perhaps afterwards I realized it was supposed to be a D. I can click on the note and hold the button down and drag it to the correct position. <coughs> the note changes to a D. You can also change its position. Perhaps I realize it's supposed to be at beat one rather than beat two. Then I can do the same thing, just grab and drag. You can also change notes numerically as well. If you right click on a note, you can see all of the information about that note. This note occurs at bar three, beat one, it is a D, six octaves up from the lowest possible octave. And there is other specific information about the notes as well. You can change the note by simply changing this information. Let's put the note back where I entered it in the first place. Beat two, and the note was a G, five octaves from the lowest possible note. And you can see that the note has returned to its original position. As you may remember, we are currently in editable notation mode, but there is another notation mode in which we can enter and edit notes. This is called the note roll mode. 
we will press the end button once more to enter this mode. You will see that the rests have disappeared and some blue lines are now protruding from the notes. This mode displays more note information than the previous mode. The line that is emitted vertically from each note represents the velocity or loudness of the note, while the line that is emitted horizontally displays the duration. We will first listen to what this sounds like, and then we will make some changes. As you can hear, all of the notes that we have entered are played with exactly the same velocity. You can change the velocity of these notes by right-clicking on the notes and holding the button down, then dragging the mouse up to the desired location and letting go. We will lower the velocity of the second, third, and fourth, sixteenth notes. And when you listen, you will hear that those notes are now quieter. You can change the duration in exactly the same way. Let's shorten the last note and play it back. As you can hear, the note is no longer held for a long time. The final thing we will discuss is beat resolution. I have shown you how to enter 16th notes, but what if you want to enter triplets? First, let's return to editable notation mode. What I want to do is enter triplet 8th notes on the last beat of bar 3, but this is currently impossible because the beat is divided into four parts rather than the necessary three. If I right-click in this space, above the beat in question, I am given the beat resolution dialog. Since I only want to enter notes in the treble clef, I only need to change the resolution for the treble clef. I change it from 4 to 3 and press OK. You will now see that for this area only, there are three dotted lines instead of four. I can now enter my triplet. One final thing that you should note is that the default division of the beat is based on the style that is currently selected. This particular style is a straight style, so the beats are divided into four. For swing styles, all of the beats will automatically be divided into three. If you need to enter 16th notes in a swing style, just do the reverse with the beat resolution and change the 3 to a 4. This concludes the Band in the Box notation tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Happy music making.